Pisces. Um, we're here with um, Cancer and Aries. I would suggest you guys watch all of the signs um, <clears throat> because the messages, I'm going to watch all of them and listen to them because sometimes when I channel, the messages come through quickly and I'm, I'm, I'm going to look back at them. So love and light to you guys. Um, for those of you who ask me, where do I make the donations? Where do I um, look at your website and all this stuff? I'm kind of like in a retreat for a little bit, but you guys can contact me. Everything's on the about section. Uh, email, donation, website, all that good stuff. And um, for sharing, liking the videos, I appreciate you guys. I love you. You know, it's all love and positive energy here. So love and light to you. So let's get to cancer. My heart chakra just went off as soon as I said cancer. And... Um, you know, the reason why I entitled this video, When Interruptions Happen, Get Back To It, is because I was finishing, I finished the Capricorn reading, and then, um, my daughter woke up, and when she wakes up, I have to go lay with her, because she's just one of those kids. Okay, she's a Cancer. Here's, here's the weird thing. I was about to get on Cancer, and she's a Cancer, and she woke up, and came downstairs, and I was like, Mommy, come to bed. Why are you still up? You know, she's a Cancer, so that could be a big message for you for you guys maybe there's something with children here um so cancer use loving strength and discernment this is your love and light message i'm not trying to win the approval of people but of god if pleasing people were my goal i would not be it says christ's servant but i don't feel like we're, none of us are servants to anybody we work with each other and even jesus would say you're not my servant and i'm not your god so stop saying that <laughs> you know um so this is like you, <laughs> Lori, yeah, but it's so, it's, it's kind of ironic that she's a cancer and she came down and interrupted the cancer reading. I find that to be kind of hilarious that she woke up right when I was starting to do the cancer reading. She's very intuitive. She tells me about dreams she has and I'm like, what? I'm like, she's like, I had a dream we were about Dunkin' Donuts and this person with a white gun was following us and the, and the cop helped us and she's seeing into the spirit realm and this is why I pray for her every day. Not that it's nothing bad, but she's very intuitive. Somebody got tennis elbow, I'm hearing. Like, I'm, I'm getting pain in my elbow here, you guys. What's going on with that? Who's got that? It's painful. So it's like you're, you're not trying to win the approval of others right now. <clears throat> Cancer, you're not trying to win the approval of... of uh, approval. Ooh, I'm getting strong crown chakra activation. I'm getting hit in the head here. Um, sh uh, strong approval activation, I, I was about to say. Somebody's got a fucked up elbow. It's, it's like pain. Maybe you have arthritis because I'm feeling it in between the bones, like in between these two bones right here and in here. Okay, so Cancer, whoever's watching, um, maybe there's something there with the, with the bones. And I am hearing um, something that's going to strengthen your bones will be good for you health-wise. So, so always talk to your personal practitioner, right? your doctor, uh, your physician, but... <clears throat> Um, I'm feeling with the truth. Let me the fuck with that. Whoa, I just, did you just see that? I just saw something past my head right now. I feel like you need to, um, again, is that, is that, and I'm definitely not bugging. I see it. All right, let's, you know, okay. Yeah, something's going on with the bones here. It's a big message for somebody here, okay? But maybe you've been feeling pain. You'll know this because when the weather changes or shifts, you start to get like real painful. I'm like, I keep seeing spirit all around me, all around you. I keep seeing the world card. Wow. The nine of pentacles, the father of pentacles and the father of swords. Father energy coming through. This is the person is trying to, they look sad though. They look like they're trying to give you a message here. Like they're trying to tell you, they, they're trying to tell you they love you and they're here for you. Okay, this is a father energy, almost like trying to bring, I'm looking at this as like a, for some reason, a dream catcher I'm seeing this as. I'm seeing this as a dream catcher. Someone's got a dream catcher hanging. Um, I'm seeing the color red and tan, like a tan color, a real tan. It's like a brown tan color. Oh my God, it's like this color right here. Look, you see the this color? Like, like those kind of colors, okay? Um, wow, really, Laurie? 
Um, some, yeah, you gotta, you gotta beetroot. I'm hearing beetroot for some of you. Beetroot would be very good for your bones. Um, excuse me, beetroot, yeah, beetroot. Mm -hmm. Well, for iron, I feel like, um, iron. Beetroot, for some of you, your blood circulation, your heart needs to, this is health, very health focused, okay? Mm, you right above your bed, you have it, Lori? Mm, wow, I couldn't possibly, ow, ow, yo, guys, what's up with the elbow here? Is somebody's elbow fucked up right here? It's oddly, because like, I'm getting like, okay, and so like clear this and it's like, could somebody maybe have fallen on their elbow or when they passed on, maybe something with the elbow or like, I don't know what this, this elbow feeling is. It's weird. It just started out of nowhere pounding. My elbow is pounding. Like this is. And I'm, I am hearing arthritis, you guys. Big, strong arthritis message. I'm hearing that. Look at this, like, Father of Pentacles and Father of Swords. Somebody's father is in the spirit world, in the spirit realm. And then again, I'm seeing feathers, dream catchers. This is Native American I'm hearing, okay? Um, somebody's connected to the Native, Native American, Navajo. Um, mm -hmm. I am seeing somebody, a chief. I'm literally seeing a chief walk up and be like, I'm hearing, sister, you are a part of us. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Sometimes your elbow hurts there. I'm, this is this is like an arthritis type of energy, okay? Um, movement, a lot of need, needing more stretching and movement. I'm hearing this, okay? Um, a father figure comes in, steps in, and really wants to let you know here something, okay? <sighs> All right, so I'm going to say this. Don't don't freak out, okay? Your grandpa, he was, he was just looking at his obituary today. Wow, okay. Um, let me tell you something. Don't freak out, please. Um, I feel like somebody needs to remove... Um, um, you know how I'm getting this? It, like, right now, I'm, like, picking up my face. Like, you see that calf? Something... <coughs> <coughs> Wow, that cow, that that bull, that bull, it's a bull, Taurus. This could be Taurus energy. Oh, somebody, somebody's in a dark place here. I'm not. Somebody's trapped. This could be... How you're feeling right now maybe for some of you this is family karma I feel like it's so many people in your family have so many I am hearing poisonous radical behavior it's 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 a disturbance right it's a disturbance but you're the star of the show like you know how i was saying you're the light worker you're the one there to heal your family you're the star of the show and it's like you're guiding them in some sense or another okay you are guiding them in some sense or another you are the star here you are the star if it wasn't for you um well you are surrounded by darkness i'm just gonna say you are um but you you're breaking out of it you you're the one breaking you're the one who's break i've got to break free i'm hearing cancer you really have to um this is a big message like i'm hearing like you know little girl and i'm literally hearing it like this you know little girl you have always been and always will be special and you're not being punished i'm hearing that too you're not being punished um you chose this for a reason and we and we thank you for it i'm hearing it just like that we thank you for it not even i thank you we so there's a collective here thanking you for i guess choosing a specific mission okay what was the message about the blood circulation and heart <coughs> somebody's like circulation in their blood in their heart like this is like like i said that's why i mentioned beetroot i think yeah that's why i mentioned beetroot beetroot is like a blood circulatory um you could get the beetroot powder or the actual beetroots the bitter the, the more bitter the more better okay 
this will be good for your blood circulation. You could be, make beetroot soup. You could make beetroot smoothies with like bananas and stuff to make that bitter taste go away. Um, I felt like um, somebody's not getting enough circulation in their heart. I almost feel like somebody's getting chest pains on <coughs> like the left side almost like, but not like for the heart. It's just, ch ah, yep. Mm, somebody's definitely having chest pains here. Okay, something's accum accum accumulated in the system. Okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Wow. It was accumulated in your system, okay? Somebody, somebody, yeah, that's happening. The heart needs to breathe, okay? Let's step into Aries, okay? All right, Aries. Aries, okay, Aries. That's beautiful. And then I'm, I'm, I'm loving this energy for you, Aries. The, fla uh, the flowers are springing up. The season of singing birds has come and the cooing of turtle dove fills the air <clears throat> it's time to be adventurous and play <laughs> alma says you, you should have listened to the to the scorpio and pisces because it was crazy those are part of my ascension symptoms a lot of people feel like cold fever sweat chills it's like almost like withdrawals from something that's so strange a lot of people right now i'm hearing this message you need to um detoxify the body from chemicals and Certain foods are not working with you. There's a specific food somebody's eating. Grain. I just heard grain. Grains. Oh, oh my God. Yep. Mm. I'm hearing grains are not good for you. Like they make your stomach blow up. Is what I'm hearing. Like your stomach's blowing up. The face you made. <laughs> Somebody's, somebody, grains, I think like bready things or like pasta-y things are making you like, like, it's like making you bloated and, and heavy, makes you feel heavy. Taking, I'm, the food is talking to me right now. I'm not, I shit you not, I'm hearing, I'm taking forever to digest, stop putting me in here. Like, I'm stuck, like, you know when food is like an energy too, right? I see like food talking to me and it's like they're like talking to each other like i hate being here like they're stuck in somebody's stomach for a long time and they just want to process and get through like i this is so weird i've never ever channeled food in somebody's stomach before <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> i'm seeing little pasta like the little the rigatoni especially i'm seeing rigatoni specifically and they're talking to each other Yo, what the fuck? I'm eating a croissant. Oh my god, I love pasta. They're talking to each other like, please let us out of here. Like they're taking. You know, there's another thing though. They're they're trying to tell you something when they're. So again, again, I'm picking up food, speaking to me like it's energy. Please, I'm sorry. I know it's crazy, but they're saying like I'm trying to make you uncomfortable so you understand it doesn't work with you. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay, Alma. They're trying to tell your stomach like I don't fit here like you have to stop putting me in here they're telling you like i don't belong in here um um that's a very important message right there okay let's step into aries very important i have to tell you that because it's getting it's clogging you you know when somebody can't take a shit like this i'm sorry i'm so sorry you guys but i have to like be specific on what i'm hearing or seeing here otherwise it's gonna stay in my head Oh, if I eat pizza for two, three days, I'm not taking a shit. Like, I, I can't eat bready things. Pasta, bread, pizza. I have to, like, once in a while, I'll be like, I just want a slice of pizza. I'm, I love pizza, but, like, I love white slices a lot, you know, especially cheese. I love, like, I love, I'm a cheese connoisseur, like, for real. But Swiss cheese is my all-time favorite. I'm, like, a Swiss cheese fiend. I'll make a Swiss cheese, um... Uh, <clears throat> grilled cheese and stuff like this but I've I've recently got into like the you know because I'm obviously plant-based I even stopped eating fish so I'm pretty much doing the whole vegetarian thing I haven't gone full vegan yet but I'm getting there step by step um, I got these um, just as important I got these patties today they're beet and kale they're beet and kale and they're delicious I, I put that with some Swiss cheese and I made a, uh, like almost like a burger out of it. And it was like so good. Like I was like, yes, I found one. Because, you know, you have to work and look for it. And, and plus that has low sodium. Guys, I want you to, this is very important for you guys. So somebody's bloated. Their hands are bloated. Your feet. You got to stay away from sodium. And I'm hearing this for you very, very strongly, okay? You just ate a pack of Swiss. I love Swiss cheese. I shit out everything the next day. <laughs> well, some people have that ability. Their, their metabolism is very quickly quickly very quickly some people's metabolisms are slower than others so we have to watch what we consume because food is energy 
And what energy you, you supply to the source, which is your stomach, your gut intuition, kind of distracts distracts and stops your, your intuition fully. So I had to give up like white breads and white rice. Once in a while, I'll indulge a little, have a couple of bites of white rice. But if I eat white rice the whole day, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, so it's like, you know, fiber, lots of fiber I'm hearing for you. Like for real, you need to cleanse your stomach out. I'm seeing food trapped in, the, I'm just gonna, let's, let's, let's finish this message food trapped in the intestines and the stomach and it's like trying to come out you know like and then it's like i hate to say it like this but it's like poop that's like stuck so hard that like when it comes out it's like oh it's the poop is crying. it's crying it's crying it's like it's not crying it's like oh god this is the worst why can't she fix that already like i'm hearing poop like struggling to get out yeah i poop every second <laughs> I can't believe I just had a whole, a whole conversation with poop. And this is my poop every second. Your poop has discussions. I'm literally seeing somebody's shit having conversations with each other in the toilet. Like, there she goes again. Like, your toilet is like, no, not again. I'm seeing a toilet crying right now. <laughs> they won't get off of me. <laughs> what did I do in a past life? Oh, God, help me. Why am I a toilet bowl? <sighs> Whew, this toilet is not happy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not funny because I feel like it's like I feel like a spirit torturous and. Oh, a torturous enemy. I'm here. I'm really hearing the toilet. <laughs> I was on the toilet with you on Scorpio. <laughs> I am hearing though, like the view is nice, but once shit comes out, it's not fun anymore. Like the toilet likes it when you just sit there and think and not shit. And you're just like, hmm. Do, 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 do. It's just your butthole. <laughs> And then there's a fly right there and he's staring at me and he's like, I love shit. <laughs> oh my God. Why did I just hear that fly standing there on the wall? Look, he's literally being mad nosy right now. He's like, yo, somebody talking about shit? Oh, word? I love me some shit, though. What? Shit is my shit. I fucking love shit. <laughs> like he's in, he's in this conversation. This motherfucker was like, I love shit. Oh, this bitch talking about shit. Tell me what kind of shit. Is it brown? Is it black? You know what? Let's, 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 let's move this message to the next place. I can't make this shit up. There's no way I'm that creative. I mean, I'm pretty fucking creative, but this shit right here, this shit right here, no pun, pun intended. Okay. <clears throat> cancer. Your whole, you know what's funny? My daughter takes a lot of shit, too, and she is a cancer. <laughs> she's always like, she eats, and then she's like, I gotta take a shit. I'm like, every time, though, she's like, yeah, I poop out everything I eat. I'm like, great, please keep doing that. <laughs> okay, Aries. Oh my god, what is going on today? That was that was pretty fucking hilarious. Like the shit was having a conversation, like for real. And I'm not making that up. Like I've really heard it, heard them talking. The toilet roll and everything, the fly. <laughs> Everybody's saying something tonight. I love it. The energy is shifting because these past two weeks I have been like, what the fuck is going on? I'm depressed, like almost feeling tired. Fucking drained and now i'm starting to like you know wake back up like ooh, ooh, ooh. and i love it because damn that shit was fucking draining bro i'm starting to like finally laugh again like whoa man fucking had the shit face the shit face Let's, you know what I, i'm not even going there i had the shit face you me be on, you're making me be on myself you're making me laugh oh my god bro the toilet gets more ass than england <laughs> <sighs> All right.
right, Aries. <laughs> Let's get to your messages. Ooh, okay, Aries. You see, and I just feel like God to Aries. Aries people are pretty goofy. Like, once you start them up, they're such goofballs. <laughs> I hate you. I'm like, so fucking stupid. All right. So, Aries. Um, <laughs> okay, Aries. Crazy because my niece and nephew are both Aries and they're mad goofy. Like my niece, my nephew, he's always like he laughs like smiles like that. My niece, she's always like <laughs> they're just the goof goofiest goofballs ever, little goofballs. And Eliana's pretty goofy too. Okay. Anyway, so focus on God's love, Aries. Make every effort to keep yourself united. Yeah. Make every effort to keep yourself united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. So Aries, I'm just going to say, I was smiling and laughing a lot during, right about before I started your reading. And even though we're talking about all that stuff, really, like there is messages and everything, right? Even shit. <laughs> so focus on God's love, you know? And it says here, like make, I'm, I'm hearing this, make light out of everything, you know? Like make light out of everything. So if something feels dark, make it fun, make it funny, you know, laugh at yourself, laugh about it. I'm hearing this strongly, Okay. Look at that. And I just got a notification on my phone and it says the signs of a major breakthrough. Did you just hear me? You heard me, Aries? And now another one. The choice that will change your life. Aries, or whoever's watching right now, okay? There's just like a, a, a needing to like let it go and just like laugh. Yeah, I saved them all. They're saved here and on my YouTube, queen. Laugh about it, Aries. I feel like you need to see the first of all look at the tree it's planting and those are golden pentacles they almost i'm seeing copper and rose gold actually i love rose gold jewelry that's like my favorite kind of jewelry and and white gold i love it and it, i cannot believe this right now i just got a, a notification that says your harvest is coming and i just said this is this tree is creating abundance your harvest is coming um i am hearing somebody's gonna run into money i don't know how this is but something here Something you've been patient for a very long time here. I don't know if you're gonna get a like a. <clears throat> I, mean, I'm, I'm, I am seeing like a trust fund baby type of thing. <clears throat> mm. Like some of you um <clears throat> are are like in this process of like clearing this toxic energy, but you need to laugh about it a little bit. You've just been in your emotions for way too long. Start fresh and get out of that dark state of mind. This is a very important message for you to <clears throat> recognize that things are trying to teach you. You're trying to, you're actually gaining a lot of wisdom here. Actually, you're getting messages. I'm seeing these thunderbolts coming from here and this snake wrapped around this sword as like the healer, right? I'm here seeing this as the healer. <clears throat> but I, I see these thunderbolts being messages coming in from the spirit realm, trying to give you the messages. Ignore the darkness and see the light. You know, be the sword. Be the sword. Like, I'm hearing, be the sword. Be the sword. Really. <clears throat> you know, these steps are thorny, right? There's thorns and tree branches coming out of it. Actually, the, the steps are actually made of tree branches, which I just recognized that. It's a pretty good illusion right there. <clears throat> and it is an illusion. You can get around this, Aries. All you gotta do is walk up the steps and avoid those like sticky parts. You could still step on the salt. You see these? You could go from there to there to there to right there in the middle and then there and then there and then there and then there and then jump up and fly away. Like you have to avoid the prickly. Look at that. <clears throat> you have to avoid the prickliness of it all and look, find your shining light, your your. Your aura is shining here. It's so beautiful. It's shining. Your aura is beautiful here. It's vibrating like a, it's like people are coming around you and they're feeling your vibration, your aura. If you could just step out of the darkness fully and turn. A, <clears throat> I'm hearing a song by Rihanna. Um, turn away from the darkness and, and look only towards the sun or something like that. Again, you see that? The root of you, the root, the roots that you have implanted inside of you deeply are of the light. For the light, the, I'm here in defender of the light. Uh, <clears throat> this is your ch your your chance to shine, Aries. Really laugh it up, enjoy life a little bit. Don't be so overly focused on. <clears throat> oh, there you go, transformation, transforming, transforming. Will you recover from COVID? Do you think you'll recover? Of course you will. Everybody recovers from COVID if they want to, okay? We can heal ourselves. Wow, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm 
we can heal ourselves if we want to. And when I say everybody recovers from COVID, I mean the people that are going to the hospital and getting murdered. Okay? <clears throat> I would rather take my chances at home and see what happens. See what God does. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not putting my hands in none of these hospitals right now. You crazy. Because they murdering everybody up in here. They did it to people on 9-11. They'll do it to your family in the hospitals. Somebody got COVID, tell that to stay home. Take a chance. See what God has available for them. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Strength card just fell down. Look at the infin infinite wisdom of, of knowledge. <clears throat> this is illumination coming in. Okay? Just understand that. Okay? Understand that. It's it's a flu. It's a flu. And all these people they're saying that dying in nursing homes, no, they weren't. They they killed them. Or they died from something else and they said it was from COVID. So let me just get your fear stay out of your head real quick. <clears throat> because this shit is crazy out here. Sea moss, elderly, fucking apple cider vinegar, turmeric, ginger. When I had that shit, I drank apple cider vinegar tea, turmeric and ginger smoothies. And antioxidants like blueberries and strawberries and wild berries and <clears throat> things that flush the system out. I tell you right now, two days, I was like, I got a cold. All my head hurts. Third, fourth day, I was like, all right, how long do I got to stay in this room for? Bro, I'm fine. Like, But I just didn't want to infect no one else. But here's the weird thing. I had COVID. I walked around the whole house, spoke to everybody. I keep seeing something like, I see you. I like see you. Stop being sneaky because you fucking, you already caught the fuck <laughs> um like i just gonna say like yo like <sighs> nobody caught it in my house the only one i caught it was my daughter but like she was right next to me i was right next to my mom like everybody let me just tell you man this shit i, I, I just just stay woke that's all i say stay woke what do i think about the vaccine i think that it's it's a bunch of bullshit that's what i think i think it's, it was a ploy from the get to get people to take a vaccine that they didn't need, that now all of a sudden get three shots and then a booster shot. You think maybe America was broke and they needed to find a way to make money, so guess what? If they created the vaccine first, whichever government could control the, the vaccine first, they make all the money because the rest of the countries need that vaccine. So even though they provide it to us for free, their governments have to pay for it. So whoever created the vaccine and whichever president they work with, and if Bill Gates is from America and he worked with the American president, then they got together. They made lots of shit tons of money because other countries needed it. Now other countries are mandating the vaccine because all the other countries do what? They do what America does all the time, right? So <clears throat> America's taking the vaccines. We need them to call up the president, tell him we need the vaccines. Can he get it to us? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like 10 billion, but we'll give it to you for like 2 million. Good night.